All right, so we've got our first configuration set. We've got our crawlers, farms, and fields set. We're ready to go to the field. So we'll go ahead and we'll hit Start Field Operations. And we're going to go in and we're going to tell it this is for the 2011 crop. All this is going to default to what you did last. So our grower is Norris, or our farm is home farm, and the field is H4. What if we want to add a new field? We forgot to put it in. Real simple, we can add a grower, farm, season, or field right from the home screen. So we're going to type in our new field name, and it's going to be H5. Hit the green arrow, and we're all set. Now we're going to hit the next key, and we're going to see that we are looking at the Case IH 190 with the turbo chopper. We're going to go ahead and accept that and hit the next key. And now it wants to know, do we want to create a region? We're not really going to worry about a region here. We'll get into that a little later. But what we want right now is just to go ahead and hit the green check mark. Say we're done. You'll now notice here is our operator, Matt Dugan. And I'm not Matt, so we're going to change that. And we're going to say the new operator is Tim Norris. So we'll hit the drop down box, highlight Tim Norris, and hit check. Now it wants to know, do we want to start a new operation or continue with the old one? We want to continue the old operation. So we're still on Norris Farms Home Farm H5. Over here we're on Region 2 because Matt did a little bit of this work and it recorded some data with Matt and then I switched to myself as the operator and it will basically keep track of what part of the field Matt did and what part of the field I did. So it's real nice if you ever have to go back and try to figure out what happened you know what operator did the operation. Now, if you want to add any notes or any comments on the field, hit the Notes tab, and you can come in here and you can put in the soil temperature, and we can you know, um, edit that, and we can put in that the soil temperature was actually 38 degrees when we ran the turbo chopper. Um, moisture level, we can hit Edit there, and we can say, well, the moisture level was about optimal. Um, so anything that you want to keep track of here, we can keep track of that and it'll show up on the report when we're done. Hit the green check mark when you're finished with that and you're ready to go. Now, down here you'll see the productivity, so you'll see acres per hour, the average speed, and the uh, operating time, so how long you've operated in the field, your area that's complete, how many acres, the area remaining, and the distance traveled. Over here you're going to see your time. So now we're going to go to your, you'll notice there's a second tab down here, and that is the field tab. Highlight the field tab, and you're going to see uh, yourself moving through the field. Now, we don't have an implement switch, so it doesn't know when the implement's in the up or the down position. So you have to turn the implement or the coverage logging on by just touching the button. Again, touch it, it has a red X, it's off. Touch it again, and it's green, and it's all lit up behind you, and it's recording that map as you go through the field. Now, if you have a GPS receiver on here that's 5 hertz or greater, the Integra operates as a light bar. You'll notice you have four tabs over here that are slide-out tabs. To access the guidance pattern, all you have to do is hit the little guidance tab and you can tell it that we want to create a new pattern. So we go in here and we hit new pattern. Now it wants to know what type of path or pattern do we want to do. We'll get into that a little bit more. Right now we're just going to do a simple AB. All right. It wants to know what our width is. We're going to put in 18 foot. It's going to default to whatever the implement width is. If you want to override that and say, I want to go 17 and a half feet so I make sure I don't have any skips, all you would have to do is type in 17.5 and it's going to guide you on 17 and a half feet. However, the implement width is still 18 foot and your map is going to show that it's 18 foot. So now, You'll notice that our implement is actually cocked to the side just a little bit because we had that implement um, offset in there. So it shows the tractor going down the center of the line, but the implement is actually moved over to the right one foot because we put that implement offset in. At this point, you can hit the set A button, and it's going to drop a little green ball there showing where the A point was dropped. Once you go into the guidance mode, it gives you a 3D perspective of the field and you see the sky up above and then you see the, the horizon out here. So it, it gives you a, basically a 3D or a perspective view of that field. 
Once you drive about 160 feet, you can go ahead and set the B button. Now it gives us our line out here. We have our light bar across the top that tells us how far offline we actually are. And it uh, gives us our line here, and you can see that we need to actually drive right on that line. If you want to save this guidance pattern, you can hit save at this time, and then you can come in and you can just name the pattern, say 2011 turbo chopping. And then now you have that pattern saved for future reference. So the next time you come back to that field, you could pull that same guidance line up and you could run off that guidance line.